What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? What, what is with the little hands? They're alien hands. <laughs> Do you nerd for convention pickups? It's on my face, isn't it? This is Tom Oh, oh wait, 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 let's just stop that right there. There was no time for an intro. There's a lot of pickups here because this is Mo Game Con 2022. We actually found quite a bit of stuff there, too. I was wondering about that. You know, like, with the, the video game collecting, climate changing, always going up, kind of like the weather. Am I right? <laughs> it's, it's freaking hot out there. I was very curious to see what we would pick up because we generally don't have anything in particular we're going after. No, I'm sure we disappoint a lot of people when they always say, so what are you guys looking for? And we go, nothing. Yeah, yeah whatever, whatever catches our eye, really. It's not a cop out, we swear. <laughs> <laughs> but we do like to find weird stuff. You know, something that's not weird is the great t-shirt. Look at this logo. Come on, Konami fans. Yeah. Where have you seen that before? It's been kind of fun seeing what different design they're going to do every year. Now that uh, Gradius banner works well. And who was a fan of Gradius? Right here, growing up, I was awful at the game. And I would try to use the Konami code. But since I was so terrible at the game, it wouldn't do me any good at all. They also got us some badges. Check it out. The Content Creator Lounge Access. Yeah, shout out to Mo GameCon for having a lounge for content creators. Yeah. They had constant streaming going on in there. So if you wanted to do streaming, there was a hardwired internet connection. There was some refreshments up there and everything. So it was really nice. So very, very sweet. Oh, gosh, where to even begin with all of this? Uh, let's, let's talk a couple of presents. Our buddy Peter Waves and Games. First of all, he made a lovely little sticker with the majority of us who would be staying together at the Airbnb. Seven. One exception. Come on, Mega Dan, where were you? You were even on the card, man. No excuses. I meet my mom, my mom, my mom, my meet me. My mom, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom. I'm up my mop mop my mop my my mop my my mop my mop my mop my my mop my mop but that wasn't the only thing Peter had for us. No. Uh, just to share, these were actually some Christmas presents that he had misplaced, but yep. he found them and so he brought them to us and we were making jokes. See, we live in the same town as Peter, but we <laughs> never get to see one another. So we literally have to go to another town three hours away to before see, we get yeah. to see each other. <laughs> so what did he start you up? So with? I had this really cute plaque that says, have you a little fairy in your home? And since they know I have a fairy garden, I love my fairy <laughs> garden. So this is really cute. And it's a, it's a tin. I mean, it's an old school tin sign and it is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got me a me journal. It is a questionnaire keepsake. So this is basically just a book that you go through and you fill out all of the questions. That way, when you pass me, it me, on me, to me, someone, me, me, me. they know all about you. Although there's a lot of things that say, you know, what are your favorites? I'm the worst at selecting favorites, so expect a lot of those to be, I don't know. I'm going to make you pick know. something. This is a freaking thick book. I don't know if I even know this much stuff about me. I so. like the cover, though. It's got a really cool embossed cover. So. And the tree key. Yeah, the tree key. That's very you. Have you been to a professional sporting event? Yes, actually. A couple of times. Do you believe in reincarnation? I'll have to think about that one. Do you like roller coasters? When I can fit. Do you believe that your personality traits are determined by your birthday? I don't even know when my birthday is. Have you eaten raw meat or fish? Okay, this is going on way too long. <laughs> Yikes. Peter wasn't the only one that had something for us. Sean had discovered something at a recent event of his own that he was kind enough to pick up for us and bring all the way to Missouri since he was going to be there anyway. 8-Bit Glitch did not even have to ship it. And that was the NECA figure for Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Now we haven't got into there just yet, but oh, we, we won't be waiting. Oh yeah. So let us know if you'd like to see a closer upper look. Not that closer upper look. Booby alert, booby alert, booby alert, booby alert. Thank you so much, 
Sean for picking this up for us because after looking at what she was going for online, I think you saved us a couple of bucks. Yeah, and the fact that you flew her to us, now that is, that is service. With a smile, yeah. <laughs> my there, yeah. You're right, you're right, there, there are, there are. I wasn't the only one bringing home toys. You actually found something. You found yours at the convention. I did, a weird random pickup. I found Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Kevin Costner action figure. <laughs> and I was actually really impressed with the likeness. I mean, it. I mean, I'm not sure about his like 80s um, shoulder pad shirt he's got going on here, but the face <laughs> for the time period actually did really good. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a movie I could literally watch and then watch it again as soon as it was over. You wore the tape out, didn't you? I did. <laughs> and the DVD, you have to flip the disc over. Oh. <laughs> nice. Well, something else as a gift was from fellow YouTuber Mega Matt. He brought a Pac-Man Amiibo to us. Now, he said he had no need for this, no use, and he thought of us. Uh, apparently, when it comes to Amiibo, we come to mind. The thing is, we do have a full figure set, but looking at Pac-Man, it's like, how hard would it be to turn this into Ms. Yeah, Pac-Man? We're going to attempt to make a Ms. Pac-Man. The female anatomy looks like this. Come on, guys. Let's try to be mature here. It's pink. <laughs> and that wasn't the only thing that he had for us. We've got a, a dust sleeve. The official Mega Mat 21 dust sleeve. Great work by Chris over at Video Game Dust Sleeves, of course. On the back, the reminder to check out Mega Mat on all of the <laughs> socials. So thank you very much. And let us know if there's a particular game you would like to see in that sleeve. Well, it's official. I'm a nerdling. Speaking of games, let's talk about a couple of games, shall we? Mm -hmm. I was having fun picking up some old school Atari games, 2600 cartridges, because we found this one table that near the end of the day, it was a everything has to go and it yes. was like half price. You know, she said it's from this part of the table to this part. Anything in this general area, right in here, anything below the stereo and on this side of the bicentennial glasses, anything between the ashtrays and the thimbles, anything in this three inches right in here in this area that includes the chiclets but not the erasers. I dug in because uh, I was interested in a few things, titles that we didn't have in the collection yet, like Plaque Attack. So if you're playing on the Atari and- I'm actually looking forward to trying this one out. Want to uh, save your teeth, I guess. So this is interesting, although this cover image alone is kind of scary. Those teeth are like way too jagged. Don't, don't do that. Now this is a cool cover though, Sorcerer. So I really don't know much about these games, obviously, having never played them before, but I believe that Sorcerer is a bit of a shooter as far as um, shooters could be on the Atari. And then Miner 2049er. That's, that's a Scooby-Doo bad guy. Hey, that was. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Who was that? Old man someone, I'm sure. Blasted kid. One is a platformer. <laughs> Uh, some of these, I think, made it onto other systems, but you, you got to go with the Atari to get that full old school experience. So, hey, old school platformer, why not? And then the last loose Atari game I found was Alpha Beam with Ernie. So this is obviously an edutainment style game. What I really like is that you can use this with the Atari Kids Controller. That being said, we do not have an Atari Kids controller. We so need to find one. Yes, we do. So we can properly play Alpha Beam. Well, with I picked Ernie. up one game, and it was from the same booth, and it was the You're in the Movie Xbox 360. But what really drew my eye was the fact that it came with the camera and the speaker and the microphone thingy, all of that, and the game itself. So I was really interested in that. Premiering exclusively on Xbox 360, You're in the Movies is the first and only game of its kind. Watch as your family and friends test their acting skills in a series of hilarious games and improvisations. What tipped it off 
was the fact that this was five dollars and then she wanted half price of that <laughs> so i'm like 250 all right because you couldn't remember if we had them or not i was like well now we have backups well or we could both be in the movies Maybe, now yeah. you could be my starring lady of course it's uh it's kind of like how we came together in fact mm -hmm. i want you to scream for me <laughs> That was, in fact, the pickup <laughs> line he used on me. No joke. At the same booth, I got some movies. So I got Excalibur. Love this oh, really old movie fantastic. about King Arthur and everything like that. It says it's the 30th edition, 30th anniversary, but this was several years ago, so it's probably been even more than 30 years. Greatest quality of night. True. We're high evil then. <laughs> Then I also got Kevin Costner Dances with Wolves. Hmm, I'm, I'm sensing You're a You're kind of on a here. Costner kick, I kind think. Kind of. And then who doesn't love the not terrible Fantastic Four movie now? <laughs> and Elektra and Daredevil. So I got some Marvel um, not so great love. But all of their Blu-rays were $2. So since it was half price, I got these. I bought these for a buck. I, would you buy these for a buck? <laughs> I'd buy these for a buck. Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Peter. We'll <laughs> never, never not see or hear that. <laughs> so another fun old school thing that I picked up, some TI-99 games. This one, I even told the guy, the only reason I want this is because it sounds like the most terrible game ever, Household <laughs> Budget Management. I want to know if BK has used this. Oh, I bet he has. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. Now, I get it. Back in the day, a lot of the home consoles, they were also marketed as home computers, too. So they tried to put out software that allowed you to do things besides just play games because some of those hefty price tags, you had to sell them to the adults who didn't play game back in the lame days, I guess. Oh. But the funny thing was, what was this, uh, 10 bucks? It was I think. five bucks. Was this five bucks? It was five bucks. And he told me, he goes, look, if you're going to take that, take a real game at least. <laughs> so I said, all right, give me Car Wars, which was 10. Yeah. And he gave me both of these for, for five. five. <laughs> so it's like awesome. It just goes to show he really wanted rid of household budget management. Because it was showing that he doesn't know how to budget. <laughs> That's why. I'm, I'm curious about Car Wars, if there's going to be like a, a Darth Sedan <laughs> and that Obi-Wan Jalopy. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, Light Crusader on the Sega Genesis will be a fun one to check out. Uh, I believe this is a action-adventure game, and it has kind of that isometric view, which doesn't always work in action-adventure games or platformers, at least not for me. There's something about that skewed top-down perspective that always throws me off and I go the wrong place. At the same table, which just happened to be Retro Tony's table, so thank you for the Genesis game, and potentially thank you for the Adventures of Mighty Max. Obviously, I got this more because of the cartoon and uh, slightly the toys. I have you, the toys. Yeah, you like the, the Mighty Max do. toys. I don't think I ever had any. I asked if the game were any good, and him and Retro Mikey both, they didn't say no, but they also definitely didn't say yes. <laughs> well, it would not be a convention without a plushie of some kind, and so I got Green Batman. I <laughs> thought you went with the Leprechaun variant of oh, Batman. Oh, well, that's true. We were calling him the Leprechaun. Ha ha ha! Or la, la, la. Batman who got the Green Lantern's ring, I suppose. Maybe. I don't know. There was a whole set of them. They had them all in different colors. There was like blue, purple, um, red. Pink heart, orange stars, yellow moon, green clovers, blue diamonds, and purple horseshoes. The classic like bluey black and then the black, black version. Black. Oh, black, black. And I actually wouldn't have minded to have them all, but he wasn't really in the mood to cut a deal for all of them, but he cut me a deal on this one. So he wanted eight bucks for it and I got it for five. Yeah, I like him. He's cute. And a cute little plushie for five hey. bucks. Why not, right? I did pick up some... Uh, extra little bits some demo discs got one for escape or die trying i just like to collect the demo discs and then this apparently isn't your average cd it's double topped fully loaded audio and interactive experience for your cd player now and for your new sony playstation when you pick it up on 9995 everyone knows how much i love my minifigs 
And I was telling Tom I was super, super upset that there were no minifigs at this convention. I mean, like, what the heck? And then we also learned that I can save a lot of money when there's not a minifig That's person true. around. That is true. <laughs> but I did manage to find one Lego minifig. Mini. I got to make clock. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought this was so cool. I've, I have always really liked this one. I saw this way back in the day at Toys R Us. But it's cool because it literally is a Lego minifig. As giant, but it's a clock, alarm clock. You know, like it's fully functioning and everything. So, super fun. And it's Harley Quinn. So, so. giant Lego Harley minifig yeah, so can I mean, now she can, terrorize your yep, regular size Lego down, minifigs. She can stand up. She can wait. Nah, I think we're pretty sure who the boss is here. All right. I think we're all in agreement. I'm in charge here. Well, something always worth looking for at game conventions are manuals. I picked one up for Lady Lacey. From my game from when I was a kid. Now all we need is the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we actually found a CIB version mm -hmm. of The Little Mermaid, but he was asking a little more than we wanted to pay considering we had already picked up yeah. the manual and we already owned the game. All we needed was that cardboard. So it's like, mm, so now we just gotta we'll, get the cardboard. we'll just hold off, I guess. And I got a really great deal on a Legend of Zelda manual, which it's a little rough, but I mean, it's it's still all there, all together. More of what was just catching my eye was the manual came with the map. Now, this is usually the piece that's really hard to find to complete your Legend of Zelda box. And again, it's not in the best of shape, but considering the fact that it has been folded over the years and it's not falling apart, <laughs> that, that's got to count for something. Or have that yellow tape on it. Ooh, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, I, I fixed it. No, you, didn't. you made it worse. <laughs> You're making it worse. You're just making it worse. Well, along with that, Zelda, Show Me Retro gave us a box. Now, there's nothing in the box, but he knows we like Zelda stuff, but we still hold on to the boxes. I mean, they make great storage and they they're do. just good display pieces. It also to helps bring our stuff home to keep it from getting destroyed. Oh, yeah. Convention. Most of the, the games and all the littles mm -hmm. all fit in that perfectly. So, yeah, it's perfect. Speaking of littles, this lovely gentleman here bought me some jewelry. He always loves buying me nerdy jewelry. Oh, yeah. So he got me these super cute Navi in a jar uh, earrings. And hey, they'll be right there by your ear to constantly tell you, hey, hey look, look, listen, listen. <laughs> hello. You know who does a really good impression? Oh, that would be the pissed off Togepi herself, Charlie. Oh, my gosh. It's uncanny. picked up something for a buddy of ours, a bandana gamer, was looking for a copy of Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition on the Sega Genesis. So we found a very nice copy for him. I mean, the case looks good. The insert looks good. It's got the tab. It does have the hang tab. Now, it does have some stickers on the cartridge. He said not to worry about that. Besides those, though, the label is really clean. The mm -hmm. cart itself is really clean. It's just those stickers. But one is a Blockbuster video sticker, so who knows. I'm not happy with the manual, though. It looks like it's missing some pages. I would like to find him a much better manual. So I don't know if anyone knows of a good uh, replacement manual. Maybe hit me up so I can make sure that Bandana gets a very pristine copy of this. Uh, other than those cart labels, of course. <laughs> and then I got one more Atari game. This one was complete. Again, this was from the table that had everything half-priced. The Gunslinger. Because, I mean, hey, they made a game about Stephen King's Dark Tower hero, The Gunslinger. Okay, so that's not the case. But you've got a great Western piece of art on the front. The box is in mostly good shape. A little bit of a wear up at the top label and everything. Some, you know... Uh, Red Dead vibes long, pew, long, pew, pew, long pew, before pew. Red Dead. <laughs> and we each got $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. 
Shut up, Arthur. Oh, speaking of gifts, though, it's not the only thing that we got for Bandana. There's something right here just for him, but I'm not going to show it just in case this video goes out before it gets to him. So, shh. Mum's the word. Mum's the word. Speaking of getting people something, in here is something for Sega Head, something very special. But again, I can't show it off. Secret. You got to participate in something really fun, didn't you? I did. You represented. Yeah. Red Sonia and Helen of Game and Browse, plug plug, got the shirt. They put on a fantastic Jeopardy style video game trivia contest. And it was YouTubers versus Twitch. Now, with myself, Captain Algebra, and Retro Mikey, I mean, it was pretty much no contest, but we we pretended to flounder <laughs> and pretended there was stuff we didn't know. Maybe even threw out a couple of wrong answers. Yeah, for show, of course. You're full of shit. All right, thank now, you. Now, now shush. But then at the end, oh, we clinched it in that final Jeopardy match like a Phoenix Reborn. And we took the win, and Badow! YouTube beat Twitch. A trophy. Mo Game God 2022 Trivia Champion. And you'd better believe this is going to be proudly displayed here in the game room. Yes. Now, since it was three on three, I did not mind to bow out and let Tom represent Do You Nerd. And I just did the filming. So, so I did yeah. not mind at all. Yeah, we, we had to keep the numbers fair. <laughs> but, uh, you know, because then, then I mean, it, it would have just completely swept it. Swept sure. it. <laughs> but that was a ton of fun. First of all, uh, Mo Game Con and, again, uh, Game of Browse. Red Sonia, they all did fantastic work mm -hmm. putting it all together. And in all honesty, the members of Twitch that were there, they were amazing. They knew their stuff. They had great personalities. They were so much fun. We even got a chance to run into a couple of them out on the floor and everything. And they were a lot of fun to talk to. So it was a great competition, a lot of fun. And but I, we still are better than you. So I really, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I right, really if you can't trash talk which <laughs> what is what, what fun is there? fair enough but I really hope that they continue this because uh, that was a lot of you fun. know panels are great at conventions but I think that little competitions you know fun little trivia events like this are a lot of I fun I will too. say this though if we do do it next year we've all got to study because there were two different tournaments going on ours and then there was another one right after ours also YouTube versus Twitch Boom. and YouTube also won that one so youtube was the winner of the day <laughs> and we have a title to defend next year that, Ooh, that is true yeah. pressure's on pressure <laughs> <laughs> well you managed to get one more thing i, I think you did. got this near the end of the I day did. i did i got this near the end of the day and i got it from our good friend austin from southeast game exchange he had a booth there for representing one the convention and two his store mm -hmm. he always takes my money with plushies it's it's <laughs> unbelievable yeah, it he brings the best it's like he knows he you. does know me we know what you need only right here on dave tv so i got me a rivet with a clank i love my female characters obviously so it's a no-brainer that i wanted the female version and the best part about this is he's magneted to her how Isn't perfect that great? is that that's so awesome so yeah super cute love it cannot wait to play the game people keep talking really good things about the game <laughs> so i cannot wait to see this lady in action we also saw the companion piece we did. of ratchet, we saw and, ratchet clank, and clank exactly the same exactly, style yeah, exactly uh, the same just i believe like that. this is the stubbins brand mm -hmm. and they always do a lot of uh, fun yes. plushy figures like this uh, big old heads and tiny bodies so i guess you'll have to figure out if you want to add that one later on just well, yeah to, of you course know, we do set. we do so austin hello i need the other one pretty sure you're me after all wait what makes you so sure you're not me? <laughs> I mean, come on. I, uh, uh, You got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. We're bringing this to a close now. So real quick, I just want to say we carry around this uh, Game Boy notebook and whenever we go to a convention we try to have people sign it kind of like a little traveling guest book yep. and uh, pretty much everyone that was at the Airbnb did sign it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I know it probably seems silly at the time but it means a lot to us to have 
a little book of memories to look back on. And it's also a great way to keep track of how many White Castle burgers people ate. <laughs> now at this point, we're gonna really dive into some grail items. So I love my Legend of Zelda stuff. I, I absolutely do. And there have been a couple of things over the years that I honestly never ever thought I would get in my Zelda collection. You know, there were things that I just kind of gave up on yeah. because it's like, forget it. One of them may actually be in the video if I set the camera up right. It is that board game right there, the Milton Bradley Zelda board game. Wow, what a find that was. <laughs> and then uh, a YouTuber, and this was part of a video that has actually never come to life. Very, very sorry for that, but we managed to get the third and most elusive CDI Zelda game. So we have the Unholy Trilogy. After that, I started to think, what can I possibly go after Zelda? Because that kind of seemed to be the big thing. And it dawned on me, you know what I need? I need that Game & Watch. First of all, look at the amazing condition that this is in. I don't think it's ever been played with. That cover is not scratched or scuffed or anything. It is absolutely gorgeous. When you flip it over, something that we always have to look for... The battery cover. So it's impressive that it still has that as but well. But the plastic doesn't even look like it's been nicked or anything like that on the you outside. Know, the, not only that, but the plastic in general just doesn't even look aged. When you open it up, you have that white and cream color mm -hmm. that normally yellows over time. But this, this looks so good. All of the labels, all of the stickers are in place. The screens are intact. Everything looks amazing on this. And this, would you believe, was a gift from Wes and Robert Gaming Off The Grid. They had recently found a amazing haul of goodies. This was one of the things in there, and he actually called us yeah. and said he thought of one person with this. He wanted to see if I already had it. I did not, and I tried to work out a deal with him. I mean, we brought him a couple of beers, but yeah. that's hardly <laughs> fair in return, especially with the way those guys put away the beers. Yes. I mean, I cannot say thank you enough because the fact that you gifted me something, Zelda, the fact that you thought of us in the first place yeah. is amazing, uh, that you were willing to let something like this go. But rest assured, it is definitely in an amazing home because it is not going anywhere from here. You are mine now. You belong to me. I mean, it means so much, but it's also such a testament to this community. You know, yeah. this is, these are the kinds of bonds and friendships that you make with the community. You see something like that and you're like, I know someone that wants something like that. I'm going to get that for him. And not that it's to them, but at least to Sega Head, I got something from them that we are passing on. So to try to keep that community love going. Poo face. Now, the funny thing was, once I got this, I was like, okay, so, so what's the next Zelda Grail item? And I thought, I mean, the Game & Watch is great, but... That game watch was really cool. And Show Me Retro happened to have the freaking Legend of Zelda yeah. game watch. Again, look at the quality of this yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, even the on the strap where that's going to be the first thing that rubs off is, you know, the logo and the Nintendo and the... It's, it's just in great shape. Dogs have not chewed on the end of it, <laughs> which was a problem in my house when I was growing up. <laughs> the buttons are in really good shape. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those would get wore down or kind of chipped away. And he did show me that it worked. Although I got to say, imagine being a parent, listening to your kid oh, in gosh. the back seat yeah. play that for an hour long car ride. <laughs> You guys are amazing to us. And look at look at all this great stuff we yeah. added. But look at all this great Zelda stuff. I mean, a box for display, a manual, a map, a game and watch, a game watch. That doesn't become confusing well, at all. I got earrings. Zelda stuff all over the place. 
<laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap this up. Guys, please leave some comments down below. I would love to know if any of you know anything about those Atari games I showed earlier. The Genesis game, Light Crusader, I think. Uh, Mighty Max on SNES. Uh, if you have ever been in the movies, like Lady Lacey is going to be, or hey, tell us about the movies. You like the old school Marvel flicks, Daredevil, Elektra, you an Excalibur fan from way back in the day? If not, you should be, because that movie is amazing. Yeah, cheesy but awesome. And what did you think of the giant minifig, the rivet? Plush. Did you even know about that? Mm -hmm. And what do you think about your new champions? Woo <laughs> uh, please leave all those comments down below. I'm going to try to get links in the description to all the amazing people that gifted us stuff. You guys are way, way too kind, mm -hmm. but it just goes to show how amazing you are to this community. And if you were at Mo Game Con, leave those memories down below because yeah. I'd love to hear about them. Yeah. All right. Well, as as per usual, after this. I kind of got some games I want to try you out. You do. So you better like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can keep up with what we're going to do next. Go over to Retro Refresh because that's an amazing website over there. We've got some merchandise on Tee Public, and if we like it... We nerd, nerd it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, nerdling. Looks like a tire ran over this thing. <laughs> and I know they're little trophies, but doesn't it look like a tire? Uh, yeah. I found a action figure of uh, Robin Hood. The um, Prince of Thieves. Prince of Thieves, Kevin Costner. <laughs>